my ticket open. <laughs> I'm not going to stand here and just like tell you things counselors usually tell you. With all due respect, I'm on the Mr. Walid and Ms. Waida. <laughs> but, um, okay, I, I want you guys to just start changing the way you think. Change is inevitable in life, and we, we can't doubt that, ever. But in our days, change to us means change to the easier, change to the simpler. And I'm going to say, I'm going to use the word simplicity deliberately, because using taking the easy way out holds a negative connotation to it. So today we always go back to simplicity, how we always want simple things in life, how we always dream of our lives being more simpler than it is now. But we're only 16, for God's sake. It's about, we owe it to ourselves to challenge ourselves sometimes. It, it, it'll add to you as a person. So it'll add to the value of you as a human being. If you take technology, for instance, as something that makes our life easier than ever, take a calculator. How many of you would have ever passed math? Like, despite the fact that there are HL students here who actually passed this math without a calculator, with a show of hands, truthfully. <laughs> Okay, well, for example, um, yo, Farah, on the top of your head, what's 13 times 3? What? Okay, so it, it, took you, it took you some time. So even though we can see technology as something that makes our lives easier, it actually makes our life, it hinders our life in another way. It makes us not want to, it makes us not eager for knowledge. We don't really work hard for anything. Like for instance, if I ask you when was the last time you felt a rush in your life? When was the last time you succeeded in something you knew you'd worked so hard for it and you knew it was a challenge and you actually succeeded? To me, that's what I call a rush in life. I bet most of you a rush would be go, but going bungee jumping, jet skiing or anything like that. But to me, having a rush in life is knowing I challenge myself in something and actually seeing myself succeed. Um, so I'm going to ask from the ninth graders and 10th graders to think of something. Uh, you guys will be facing tougher decisions in life soon. You're going to have to know what you want in life. So for me, just for me, think of actually challenging yourself. Think of, I won't take environmental science because it's the easy way out or it makes my life simpler. I'll try to take biology. <laughs> With all due respect, it's not popular. <laughs> but like, I'm talking about the content, guys, so like, don't miss the point here. Right? Now, I don't want the audience to feel a bit left out, because I'm going to talk to my class, class of 2013. Can you please just like, I'm going to talk to you personally. Each and every single one of you, whether a girl or a boy, you have so much potential as an individual, I see you guys go so many places in life, but unfortunately what I see now is we want simple things in life. We stop challenging ourselves. So I'm going to ask you one thing. If, it, if you're going to come out of this like, talk with one thing, start challenging yourself. Because I know you guys have so much potential and you are all so, much, so talented in each and every different way, but you guys just have so much potential and you have to start challenging yourself. I don't mean that in a negative way. Don't take that in a negative way, but it's an, it's an advice. And if you, if you really want to take it, then take it. So um, going back to all you guys, to me, I'm just going to end up by saying, sometimes you will want simplicity in life, and you are going to owe it to yourself to have simplicity in life. But make that like down, more down to, in the road. Make that when you hit your 40s, your 50s, then you owe it to your life for simplicity. Because now, to me, my, my age group, we have to challenge ourselves more than we do today. Thank you.